As we sing before hearing the word, how many are happy and ready for the word? Tell your neighbor, be ready for the ark. Hallelujah. We'll sing as we get ready. Be of good courage. God spake unto Joshua. When all the rivers got pointed the way, Jordan uncrossable, things seemed impossible. Waters divide as they march and obey. Oh, got any rivers you think are uncrossable? Oh, yes, got any mountains you can't. Jesus Christ. We are happy to be in the house of the Lord. Open our Bibles. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis is in the Old Testament. Genesis is in the Old Testament. The Bible says, In the beginning, God created heaven. Let us pray. Stand as there. Our Heavenly Father, we come to your throne and we thank you that we can call you our Father because we are our, your sons, O Lord Father, bought by your blood, incorruptible. We commit our lives, our everything, O Lord Father, our bodies, our souls, our hearts into your hands that you may bless us today, that we can create a new something in our lives. Power, Lord, for service and power to walk in this pilgrim way. May you open the bread of life, O Lord Father, that everyone may have access and feed their spiritual souls today, Lord Father. I commit this service into your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. We may be seated. Um, here the Bible says, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, if you begin with God in everything, you will never be wrong. If you start your life with God, if you start your day with God, everything will fall into place. So he says here, God created heaven and earth. And this is Genesis 1 verse 1. So when God created heaven and earth, he was a fountain of spirit. He, he was El, El, Elohim. El, El, Elohim. He, the God who existed by the power of his will. He had no beginning, no end. He was an infinite God. And right there from the infinity, when he was covering space and time, he, he, he was pregnant with attributes. 
there is me, no? attributes of being a creator, is being a but there was no one lost at that time. So in the back part of God's mind, he started making a plan, a master plan, a plan of redemption. Before there was even creation, we were in the mind of God when he laid the foundation of the world. But the Bible says in the beginning God, God created heaven. So it doesn't say the heaven was void. The so heaven was already uh, complete. But before God created heaven, he first created a body for himself. Uh, the Logos. Because he is the beginning of the creation of God, the Bible says. So God created himself a body. The God was invisible. Now, now, now it becomes, he has a theophany body. And then that's why the Bible says, he was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. So in the mind of God, the lamb was already there. He before the problem was there, the answer was already made for every problem that was going to come. So after God created himself and he created the heavens, he then created angels and God becomes an object of worship. When angels are created, they are worshipping him. But he is not yet our father. He's not yet because he doesn't have children at the moment. He's, when he becomes Jehovah, he's dwelling now with his family. So here the Bible says in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. So he now zooms to the earth. But we see that the earth was void without form. It was still God's creation. As void as it was, it already had the gold inside. It already had the minerals inside. So when God creates us, when he calls us, you are, you, first stage, you are void without form. You are empty. Your life is nothing good. But it was the creation of God. It was without form and darkness was upon the face of that deep. But the good thing that we see here, the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. As long as God is moving upon your chaotic situation, something good will come out of that situation. No matter how dark your world is, no matter how dark your life is, if you allow the spirit of God to move when this world was void it was not going to help if any man starts rebuking it for his being void and started crying against it when you are a sinner when you say his son, even if the preacher would rebuke and rebuke it was not going to help you even if the parents would beat and beat until the spirit starts moving upon that earth then there is hope for that earth when the spirit starts moving upon your child then there is hope for that child out of that ugly picture there came a beautiful garden of Eden. I believe we are stepping also into creative power. As children of God, there will be a power put in the church and now it's coming in. That the Holy Spirit will so annoying people till they speak the word and it will create itself right there. As a son of God, there is a touch of God upon your life. You are an amateur God also. You can speak like God. And you can create like God. That strain of God is still in us. Because we have the heavenly genes of God. If you are a son of God, you are like God. 
Ufana no tit. He just speak the word and it create itself. Ukuluma is will is done. His word is creative power. Is will a kelinga man so, look done. As we are preaching now, si shuma ya man. We are in effect. We are creating. Si effect done. Si creating a new heart. Si telling things you are creating a better version of you. Dala we na umo. We are preaching now. Si shuma ya man. The word is entering your vessels. Is will in any tambo ya and is creating new vessels. Is creating new body parts. Sometimes, Sometimes instead of saying be healed, God can give you new kidneys. He can give you a new spirit, a new heart. Because how did the world come into existence? Amen. Out of the things that were not. He said, let there be. And there was. So starting from nothingness in your life. When God starts speaking into your life. It doesn't matter the background. It doesn't matter how if it was. But when God starts speaking. About your situation. Something changes. I was sharing a testimony sometime. About my sister who was um, who was barren for ten years. And we went to South uh, Africa, tried everything. Uh, and the, the guy in there could not even win. There were no follicles to even help in the in same nation. But then when we started praying, God created and she now has a child. And now I have a, a nephew. Uh, because of God's creative power. When God created the world and rested on the seventh day, it doesn't say he retired. He, he retired rested for a short time and he created, he started creating again and now he had other creators young creators his own offspring that could also speak like God when they speak it's like deity speaking I was enjoying this testimony here every testimony starts with a dark background Otherwise, it's not a testimony. Amen. <laughs> it's not a miracle. If it does, it starts with an impossibility. So if you are facing an impossibility, you are a candidate of a miracle today. It's a brother from, from East London there. Uh, he, he, he just sent me a message and said, We have gone to the doctors, they've been barren for some time. So they thought to have this um, insemination. So when they went to the doctor, the doctor could not even find follicles to start with. There was nothing to start with. I like it when you have nothing to start with. And then you are a candidate of a miracle. If there is faith inside you, then you have something to start with. So they said we have gone for medications, the scans. The but sister is so distressed. But says is a mile go on ke utate foot ebe ebe kanzegi. Because the the follicles they they are zero. No, but is zicha be zingeko. They just said, Pastor, please pray. What some fun is it and as this uh, very far they have never been to this church. Ah, baka chana ban la baba se monta zake ba figela. They are Africans, colored brothers there. Banga ma Africans, banga ma kala. But they have just been watching on YouTube what God is doing. What to be so when they were so stressed I just answered and said, I'm praying now. This, they sent me a message. They said, there is the ultrasound scan before prayer. There is not even a sign of follicles there. Then I'm praying around 10 mid, uh, near midnight. The next morning I get a message. Another ultrasound scan shows follicles have developed and they are 9 out of 10. 
They say to, this is today's scan after prayer. Now she has nine out of ten colleagues. Nine out of ten. Where is the doctor's report? Starting from nothingness. When you enter the prayer room, that prayer room can create anything that you don't have in your life. God can create a new version of your husband in the same wife. That same wife, God can create that wife to be another version, a good one. Because God's creative power does not end. It's an eternal stain. So we have an open check now as the children of God. Anything that you ask is possible. So today is you who can limit God. But if you ask anything this morning, you may find that before the service ends, you'll be holding your testimony. That is how I believe this message. I don't believe it futuristic. I believe it now and forever. My subject today is tapping into God's creative power. We can tap into that power of creation. And now as sons of God, we start speaking and things appear. I've seen that sometimes, even before you speak, when you have a desire, you see that desire happening. It's about closeness to God. If you get so close to God, the divine attributes enter your human body until you operate in a divine manner when you are still in a human body. I was preaching at Queen's Park the other time. Then I got this testimony from a brother. You are showing, because we are saying God, he, he, the prophet says, a brother can say, I give you rain and the rain will come in your field. The, his field was dry. But he believed and prayed to God. No, not us helping him. He prayed to God. And the things happened. The crop started growing. And in that area where there was no harvest, he has a bumper harvest in his own field. So when I was preaching, he gives me this testimony here that the miracle was now dying because those crops were now becoming dry again. And I was saying, if a miracle is about to die, God can resurrect that miracle when the son of the widow of Sarepath is dying or when the son of the Shunammite when the son of the Shunammite is dying, God can resurrect that son when John is now dying in Elizabeth, Elizabeth, that miracle can be resurrected. When we finished the preaching, the rain came to his field. And he's saying, now we are harvesting. We don't need to worry about many things as children of God. What we have, what we are given by God is enough to face any situation. What you have in this Bible here is enough to face the severest of your problems. Last time I was sharing this testimony of a child who was about to was going to be born as a hydrocephalus waterhead. Why? But away there in Zambia, Zambia they sent a prayer request. And the child is happy and is born nice and healthy. Prayer knows no distance. Whether it's in Zambia or UK, almost daily I receive calls from France, from UK. This one I didn't want to say. Let me just say it. The other one, the, some of the testimonies, uh, the prayer requests come when I'm so exhausted. 
And I say, let me pray. And I fail to pray. And God doesn't fail to answer. <laughs> when you have a desire, before you even speak, when you set your mind on something, God starts moving already. I'm not supporting laziness. If you are busy in the things of God, and you happen, this body cannot contain the volumes of what should be done. God can still move even if your body cannot move. The prophet says, I believe I will see a day when Jesus will restore normal legs and take away the artificial. He never done it in Bible days. But I believe we are going to receive greater things than that. He was hoping for it and he saw it in his Days. If there is a spiritual level that you desire in your days, you will see it in the day that you desire to see it. Before I even get to this message, let me get a background of God's creative power. So when he created the earth, the earth was without form. It's like us when we came to God. There was nothing good. We were born in sin, shaped in liquid, without hope, without anything good about us. Amen. The only thing that brought hope when you were still in the pier hole, the Spirit of God started moving upon your life. This is before you have heard the word. Before God says, let there be. The Spirit starts moving because no one comes to God except the Father draws that person. You thought you came here by mistake. But there is a drawing power that is bringing you to the presence where things must happen in your life. We were hopeless, brother. Darkness was upon the face of the thief. We, our lives were covered with darkness. Family trends, cycles of failure, family spirits. Like spiritually, some people are covered with darkness right now. Spiritual darkness. When the prophet was preaching, that, that wood of dead darkness was, was photographed. But when the word started going forth, when God started saying, let there be, let there be healing, let there be victory, let there be overcoming power, let there be peace, let there be joy, things started changing. That darkness upon that system, the camera came back and caught it. The same person, the same person, but something had changed. During the service, darkness is a flea. During the preaching, something is fleeing out of your life. God is performing by His word. He speaks a tomb out of existence. By His word, He brings things into your life. The earth was in water and in darkness. That's how we came to the earth. When we were in the water in the mother's womb, you were void without form. And you were in darkness. But God started separating light and darkness. God separated you from your mother's womb. The only thing that kept me from being saved, the prophet says, 12 years ago, is because a spirit hung over me. Go, go, go. A devil saying, go, 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 go. wait a little longer. That's the reason why you were not saved when you became age of accountability. Those who are not yet saved today, it's because a spirit is hanging over you. You yourself desire to be saved. But there is something beyond your power that is holding you from confessing. But the word it breaks the power of that thing. 
then your power of decision comes up. You say, today I'm giving my life. Then you are a different person from there. The earth was covered with water. Two thirds of the earth is water and two thirds of your body is water. But what I like, the most beautiful thing there, the Spirit of God started moving. God is so patient. As dark as the world was, God moved upon such a dirty thing. No matter how filthy you are, no matter how your history has been the vilest offender God can move upon your life to give you a chance to change a chance to be transformed oh I like it when God starts moving mothers can pray for their teenager boys and nothing can happen until God starts moving you can pray for your husband but something happens when God starts moving you can pray for your marriage and something happens when God starts moving when God starts a thing he doesn't leave it halfway. He doesn't make you a half Christian. The Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. It was God face to face with the situation. God face to face with your problem. And the prophet dramatizes it. He says the, the, the Holy Spirit was brooding because he knew there were potentials hidden in that earth. When God made that earth, he had good thoughts about it to bring it to an expected end. He was not going to leave it so forsaken like that. He says, I've begun a good work and I'm going to finish it. He started brooding. The more he was brooding, plants started coming up. Flowers started coming up. He kept brooding. Trees started coming up. The more you come in the Holy Ghost atmosphere, things start appearing in your life. The earth was coming to God or God was coming to the earth. It's not you who was looking for God. God was looking for you. But the earth was saying, just as I am, void without form. Oh Lord, I come. The earth came as it was, but it did not stay as it was. When you meet God, something is forever changed in your life. When God starts moving elements in your life, hopelessness disappears. Brother, as long as I know Jesus is around, I can't complain about finances. I can't complain about the weather. I can't complain about drought. There is no drought in the presence of God. God started moving. And God started speaking. And initially, God was moving quietly. Reading the situation. When he started speaking, he addressed the biggest problem. The problem of the earth was the bad atmosphere over the earth. Amen. So your problem is the bad influence. The bad atmosphere over you. If that atmosphere goes and the heavenly atmosphere comes, things will start raining in your life. Things will start appearing in your life. Because a creative atmosphere. God said, let there be light. When God says something, it's going to happen. No matter how 
long it takes. When he says you are healed, then you are healed. You might as well start rejoicing. Because in God's eyes, it's already done. That victory is won. God speaks. That is the same way he does in our life. For the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness. He has shined in our hearts. So what God was doing in the creation of the earth. He does it in creating a new you. Because when a man is in Christ. He is a new creature. The old is gone. The new has come. The light that lighted our lives. Jesus is the light of the world. So without Jesus, you are in darkness. That's why you hate your brother. You have love is Jesus. If he enters you, there is love and you are no longer in darkness. The things you used to do, you do them no more. They say, to, to whom shall we go? Because thou hast the words of eternal life. Now we see in the, in the creation there, God starts separating light from darkness. God is not a mixer. He's a separator. When he has started the work in you, he expects you to separate yourself from the things of the world. Separate yourself from the fashions of the world, from the habits of the flesh, from the websites of this world. Separate light from darkness. And God continues separation. He separates day and night. He separates the land and the waters. He separates you with even other people. Even people are not evil people. God can separate Paul and Barnabas. If your commissions are not compatible, we are told that this world was one mass which was called the, uh, the land was Pangia, one mass, but God separated. He said, let Africa move this way. Let America move this way. Because Africa is its own commission and its own people. And America is its own commission and its own people. There is a fivefold ministry. God says, you evangelist, this is your commission. And he makes all things good. When he comes into your life, light does not dwell with darkness. The message cannot come and leave sickness in your life. It cannot come and ignore sin in your life. The sin question must be answered. When God comes, he removes everything that is not supposed to be in your life. The light of life is shining. There is a transformation that is going on. And you are becoming better every day. The earth starts saying, I am not what I should be. But I know that I am not what I used to be. I keep pressing on. Going to the mark of the high calling. Man has a strain of God in him. Even in his fallen state. Man wants to be creative. Man can take a forsaken, dark, void car without form and so left out in the dust and darkness. And he brings it to the factory. And he starts renovating that car. At the end of that service, when he has used these banners, we have these banners here. At the end of the service, a beautiful picture will be out of your life. People start admiring that same person who is no longer the same. It will be the same you, but not the same. When God had spoken, 
Things started growing in the earth. There must be growth in a spiritual life. Never be stagnant. There must be growth in your spiritual life, in your prayer life. Uh, the earth started being fruitful. When God speaks in your life, there must be fruits appear. There must be fruits of righteousness. There must be things pushing through because God has spoken. When God speaks, courtships will start pushing through. Your job starts pushing through. Your breakthrough starts pushing through. Those things were there. Underground. Waiting for the Holy Ghost atmosphere. Waiting for God to speak. When the God speaks, these things say, A thy word. We are germinating. So there shall be a manifestation of the spoken word in the season of God. God is speaking again. Speaking resurrection. When God had spoken a few words in his first sermons on this earth, fish started appearing. Monkeys started appearing. Amen. Birds started flying. Things beginning to everywhere there was something appearing. I believe every direction of your life something must start appearing because that creative force is the word of God. And the secret is the word of God in your mouth is the same as the word of God in God's mouth. It doesn't become weaker because it's now spoken by you. It's the word of God is a creative force. This morning we are going to create things here. Even missing limbs can be created. Even things that are not there. Abraham considered things that were not there as though they were. Because his faith was going to create those things. When God Climax the creation. God ends with the best thing. He then created man in his image. And he breathed the breath of life. Inside that breath was even the creative power. What God put in us gives us dominion. It gives us the power. When God created man, he then rested. But he didn't retire. Then, afterwards, he comes back again. He creates the woman. Creation did not just end in seven days and then God says, I'm through. This morning, there is a creation of sons and daughters of God this morning. He took a rib and created the bride to Adam. Like he did at the cross with the Roman spear there to take a rib. Water, blood and spirit to create a bride for Christ. He says, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. When God has created man, he created our theophany bodies at that time. But we are then to be manifested in our times. When man was in that state, he was an amateur God. He had dominion, he was ruling all creation. He had created power to redirect the courses of nature, the rivers. He could interrupt nature because he had the DNA of God. Do you know that the seed of God is in you? It makes you an overcomer. It makes you above your situation. You, you are even above the devil. 
Satan. Because the devil cannot create. He only ways to pervert what has been created. But a son and daughter of God has creative power. As long as you are connected to your source, as long as the branch is in the vine, it's not divine that we have the creation or the fruits. The vine will, will do it through the branches. When God rested, the Son of God did the rest. Naming, naming the animals. Continuing the work of God. So God must also, it means spiritually, God must rest in your heart. Now when you have the Holy Spirit in your heart, it means all what was in God. He has poured it into you. You can now speak in the face of adversity. Speak to your mountain. You can speak to your storm. You can command your body to obey Isaiah 53 and be healed. And your body will be in submission. When God will speak, stars will obey. Rivers will obey. When God speaks through you, no one can despise you. God must enter this house that is called your heart and rest there. And then when he gives you rest also because we have the Holy Spirit now in him. That's why all those who walked with God they had creative power. You wonder how Enoch built that pyramid. There was a creative gene in him. In Genesis, when God was through creating, he continued creating. When Sarah's body was old, Amen. When Abraham's body was old, when Sarah's body was old, God created a new body for the creation will never stop. It is an eternal thing. I believe in the millennium also. We shall create also. We shall move at the speed of a thought. As you desire something, you are there. God did not allow that this time because some of your thoughts are not right. You may think and it happens and there is a disaster. You have to allow you to be restored. First. Do you know that right now in your body there is creation going on? Right now in your blood there is creation going on. New skin is forming. New hair is forming. New blood is forming. And right now in the body of Christ there is creation going on. We are speaking things. And they are materializing. God did not just rest and say, no, it's over. We see when Abraham was on Mount Moriah there, Jehovah Jireh came in and created a realm that was not there in the other creation. The genetics of that, that, that realm there, it had no navel. It was created fresh there. Like the squirrels that were created by the prophet, they had no navels. They were created fresh. They had no mother. Do you know God can give you a testimony that is no somebody to God created away from civilization. When Abraham had nothing, he had already prophesied that I'm coming back with my son. And that word had creative power. Oh, brother, even Moses, they would throw the rod there. And it would turn to a living thing. God can take the dead things of your life the dead aspects of your Christianity and bring life into that God is a creator when you see the miracles that were done by Moses in the land of Egypt 
Even if it was Egypt, no matter what we keep it, miracles could happen. Ah, is me, is Even if you are in Laodicea, no, Laodicea, miracles can happen. Is Even if you are in the darkest no, point of life, Yemen. miracles can happen. Is Even if you are in a hellish marriage, no, miracles, miracles can no, happen. Is the These miracles Les is man. were third pool miracles. They were creative miracles. I want everyone here to see creative miracles in their lives. Where you see that this is a new creation. When you saw that testimony of follicles appearing in less than a day, the doctor says there is nothing. Prayer says there is something. And the prayer says, Doctor, look back. Something has been created overnight. This can change overnight in your life. Moses will just speak. Moses was under the blood of bulls and goats. You are in a higher platform now because you are under the blood of Jesus Christ. I want to challenge you to know that you can speak. It's not only your pastor or somebody in some position somewhere. When the weakest of Christians begins to pray, something moves, brother. In the smallest toe, in the smallest toe of your body, there is a new creation. There. Let me tell you something. Creation happens in smallest things called cells. You cannot see them. They are insignificant. But in them, things are happening. What are those? They are insignificant members of the church. But in them, things are happening. Because Christ in you is the hope of glory. When Pharaoh was asked, when do you want the frogs to go? He said, tomorrow. You should not say tomorrow, say now. Now, the same God that could say to Moses, let there come frogs. And they came, uh, uh, the same one who could stand up here and say, let this water be wine. Uh, the same God is here today. He just don't change. It is God in man. That's his manifestation. That's what he's revealing. Man cannot create, but it's God creating man. Moses will say, let there be lies, and there will be lies. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> um, uh, let there be flies. And all of a sudden, there is tons of flies. He will say, let there be boils. You would create things into the bodies of people. <laughs> you would speak things into someone's body. Today we can speak healing into your body. Moses will stand there. A man once was running away. But now is in his position. A man who was among the waters. In the darkness. Void without form. But now he stands and says, Let there be locusts. Even if you were once a prostitute, when you are now in your position, don't fear that you were once a prostitute. Stand and speak the word. Moses will stand and say, let this water become blood. Man has never been able to, to, to create blood. They have created many things and called many things. But we need your blood transfusion to help somebody. But Moses will stand and say, let this water be blood. And the water will say, Amen. Your situation must say, Amen. As you speak. Power is hanging over you right now. That power is usable. Scientists have taught you that if Zesa is a problem you can use the power of the sun to bring electricity if the economy is a problem you can use the power of the sun sun of God to bring results in your life Moses would create hail and fire 
Moses, Moses was born of flesh and blood. What? He was a man of like passion like you. But he was desiring to live in your day. And you are living in the very day that Moses wanted to live in. So that he can create better. Moses would speak. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You would say. The cattle are dying, livestock, diseases on the livestock. It will just happen, right? There. The cows would amen it. Moses would create even darkness. You will speak and it happens. And when the death angel was coming, when Moses said, put the blood in the lintel of the door. The dead angel will come into those who have no blood. And the firstborn will die. The firstborn will die. But God has created a barrier which is the blood of Jesus Christ. That when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Let the blood cover your heart. We see in Revelation chapter 11, God says, I will give power to my two witnesses, Moses and Elijah. If any man harms them, fire proceeds out of their mouth. If any man wants to kill them with a sword, fire comes out of their mouth. He says these two witnesses, they are given power to smite earth with any man of, of plagues. They can turn water into blood. They can speak frogs and things. This is Moses and Elijah in the Jewish side. But in the gentle bride also, we are here to speak with gentle faith and things will appear that, that God who created would also create a way for the children of Israel to pass through dry ground. They were not passing through mud. They were passing through dry ground. They will see the threatenings, the, the whales and the sharks there. But they were safe because of the power of God. That same God can open a way for you. He can create a way where there seems to be no. So we see God in Genesis creating God in Exodus creating a way God in the book of Numbers creating quells creating water from the rock creating all their answers we see God using the rod of Aaron creating new leaves and fruits we see God in the days of Elijah creating bread for many people People. We see God in the days of Ezekiel going to the dry ponds where there were nothing, there was no skin, there was no flesh, there were no tendons, there were no muscles. And the prophet starts speaking. Ye dry ponds, hear the word of God. And the son of God speaking to the bones transferred life. Transferred the skin, the words that you are speaking were the raw materials it, it was what will bring the skin what will bring. you don't know how your answer will come what we are speaking now carries the raw materials of all things that will come together the creative power brought the tendons, the muscles in an utterly fashion everything knowing its place God continued creation. We see him sending an angel. Gabriel to speak to Mary. He says, you, you shall have a child. 
When Mary said, Amen. Mary, what, amen. Right there, she became pregnant with what she amened. That word entered there. And he started growing. And he started becoming flesh. The word becomes flesh. And the flesh must become the word. God continued with Mary now. Because when God created through Mary, he created in Mary. It was so that he can create through Mary. When God touches you, it's so that he can touch someone through you. So he goes, Mary goes to Elizabeth with the creative name and says, the name is Jesus. The first time he mentioned that name, John jumped in the mother's womb. A new creation began. Every time we say Jesus, there is a response somewhere. As I say Jesus now, there is a reaction in a life somewhere. The word must become flesh. Out of the pain of the Bible, out of quotations to reality, every son of God who came to the earth did not die without creating something. So you can create something. When Christ came, you would create fish, fish with the very measures of, of, of uh, salt and carry and the spices and everything he would measure yes, it to the next thing. He would create more than what you need. And God today can give you super abundantly above what you can ask. God will uh, uh, meet somebody again. We had no sockets, no, no eyes in the socket. He, he started taking the earth again, which was without form and it full, of, full of the water and spit. He put it there and he spoke. Eyes started materializing. And we see when the prophet was praying for that girl, the pillar fire came and circled around the eyes that were not there. In the midst of the creation, the prophet says, sorry, young girl, but I forgot to you ask you what color of eyes. God does not just push things on you. He wants you to say what kind of a wife you want. What kind of a husband you want. God would create fish. When Peter knew that there was nothing, the conditions of a miracle is an emptiness and no other way of an answer. Then you then say, Eat thy word. Then the fish, 153. Then God says, If you He's now transferring it to you. If you shall say to this mountain, what is your this mountain? What is your this mountain this morning? If you shall say to this sycamore tree, if you shall say to this cancer, if you shall say to this prophet, if you shall say to this evil habits, be thou moved, that mountain shall hear you because his state is speaking in you. Speak the word only. When you speak the word, wait patiently. Something will come. If it doesn't happen today, it will come tomorrow. But it will never return for it. This is a beautiful quotation here. An angel is a servant. But we are sons and daughters. Which one is most thought of? Your servant or your son or daughter. Prayer from a saint will go a million times higher than an angel because he is a son. Hmm. 
the church. I, I don't believe this side of eternity, uh, how we, we ever realize who we are. With this side of eternity, we must realize who we are. When Christ was through with his exploits, as a chief wave before us, Amen. He says, you, greater work shall you do. The teacher does two examples. When he had created wine, he had done this. He says, greater works. You know when Elijah, Elijah, the prophet, prophet. went to the Zarephath widow there. He demonstrated the miracle. But for the next three and a half years, it was the widow performing the miracle. The widow would go to the empty barrel, which was so small, and say, today we are eating. Then something forms there. Today we are frying. Then something forms there. The economy of Israel was so low. But the economy of creative power. Yet something new for every day. God's mercies are new every day. He says, behold, I create a new thing. So God did not end creation. Behold, I make all things new. He went to say, I go and prepare a place. He prepared the holy city, New Jerusalem. Which came prepared as a bride prepared for a husband. And a voice saying, The tepaneku of God is with men. This morning, may God create. He says in Psalms 51, creating me a king heart. Spiritual creation is higher than physical creation. Because spiritual creation can never be destroyed. Natural creation will pass away. But spiritual creation, when God created the earthly body, it will die. When he created the inside you, it will never die. Something spiritual must be created in you. Created me a clean heart of God. And renew a right spirit within me. Because therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Out of that old person, there is a new formation, a new conduct, a new way of dressing. When Paul met that pillar of fire, that light creates, brother. Amen. That light creates. When it met Paul, it met Saul. It created a Paul. When he writes the epistles, he doesn't say Saul, the apostle of Christ. He says Paul, an apostle of Christ. Address yourself the way God addresses you. Don't address yourself with a past something, past condition. There is no mistake with Paul. He says Paul and Apostle. Paul. Oh, let's see this one. He said to me when I went up the mountain, a voice came in the cloud, something of this order. This is my servant. I've called him to be a prophet to this age, to lead the people just as Moses did. I've given him authority. He could speak into existence like Moses did. God has given us that same Power through the ministry of the prophet that we can speak things into existence and we can speak other things out of existence. You can say, devil, get the behind me. I don't want to see you. You must. These things I don't want to see in my life. But the good things we speak them this morning to appear in your life. This morning you speak what you seek until you see it materializing. Now, man has a strain of God. Hope I will be closing very soon. Even in the civilization of man, 
They were following the rhythm of the spirit. In the days of the horse and the cart there. It was like in the days of Luther. Then the next move came. In the days of the men anointed of intelligence. We moved to the automobile edge. Which was the western edge. Then when the anointing of Pentecost came. Men also caught it. That we now can fly. But in the spirit. Spiritual it happened first when they flew God into the supernatural. Yes. But now in the message of the hour, Manje, eh, we are in the astronaut age. We shall leave this earth to another world, a land beyond the river. Let me just express this. Look at it, it's very interesting. When man creates something, he has no new idea. He takes from what God has created. If you look at a car, it is like a man. If uh, uh, let's look at the car there. Uh, the lungs are the air filters there. I'm a papo in the car. The, the heart is the engine of the car. The, the brain is the computer box of the car. The eyes are the headlamps. That's why when people are now squinting, their eyes are putting teasing, whatever they call The cars are also doing this. And the kidneys of the car is the oil filter of the car. Because man could not create blood. They had to create oil that circulates in the car. And the car, good, it has a dashboard that tells when things are wrong. You must know when things are wrong in your spiritual life. When you are not praying, there must be a light somewhere that says, sister, the oil is now low. Foolish virgins, the oil is now low. Man, when they are creating, they use God's idea when they are creating an aeroplane. They have to say we have to take it from our father. Because the son does what he sees the father doing. When we see the father has caused the best to fly this way, the aeroplane will have to copy somehow. Now if you look at a character in the Bible that flew so high, you can also fly like that person by looking at what God has done for somebody. Those that know their God, they can do exploits. When the message moved to third pool power, where it is speaking things to existence, science moved to cloning also. It says now we can clone things. We are cloning with the word. We are speaking and it's happening. Creation is amazing. Our God is a meticulous God. He pays attention to details. He has made you so unique in yourself. There are some flowers that when he has made them, they look like something else somewhere. In the, in the bed or animal life. God rich in mercy and great in his wisdom. You create some flowers that you see, mm, this looks like something up the tree. You create some others that you say, this looks like an ice cream. <laughs> you look, he wanted to decorate your world with the beautiful things out of his creation. Now, a Christian's home is decorated with testimonies everywhere. When you walk around your lounge, you say, this sofa as I prayed, and God answered we had no money. There are the sofas. As you are walking to the stove there, you open the fridge. 
He said, this fridge was empty and I prayed and things started coming. God creates things to make your life beautiful. No one must have a void, empty life. But things must start materializing. Things must start coming forth in your life. But the greatest of the creation was when he created you. As we speak now, in some mother's wombs, things are being created now. People must believe unseen things. Because when you started, you were unseen. You were smaller than a grain of salt. And you started believing and training and eating through the umbilical cord. And here is this big person that we see. Spiritually, eat the word and push and believe and say every promise in the Bible. You shall see a big spiritual giant in things of God. That's why the word is creating. I'm about to close. Yeah, he says, I commend you to the word of God. To the word of his grace. That is able to build you up. Through the word of God, we are being created. Every time he's adding faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness. And God is making a masterpiece. Using the picture in heaven. You know, when, you are, when your life is in pieces, it has to be joined like a jigsaw puzzle. But you can't join a jigsaw puzzle without a picture somewhere that shows that these pieces must be like this. You must have a, a picture. Then you pick these pigs according to this picture. I put it there. So there is a heavenly picture that can rearrange your marriage. Picking every piece according to the picture. God is still creating sons and daughters building on you faith building, putting virtues every day we are getting better putting heavenly knowledge putting temperance until you are in the stature of a perfect man putting patience Putting godliness, putting brotherly kindness, and then if these things be in you, you will never be barren in your Christian. So there are some miracles that are a, a creation. I was showing that testimony where God created even wine in the days of the prophet when communion wine ended. We hear this sister talking of a testimony when the prophet told that sister we had a tumor and lost her hair and the doctor said she will never have the hair. And the prophet said you shall have hair. God created the hair right there where the scar was and it grew. So if you are troubling with troubled by short hair, God can ah, create and let the hair we grow long. We see the presence of God causing artificial flowers to grow. Allow me to still, I, I, my time is up now, but let me still a few minutes. Just five this testimony was so amazing. How the prophet, someone... Uh, Brother Welsh prophet, dressed brother the Welsh. squirrel for the prophet because he liked eating squirrels. Mm -hmm. And he put it in the fridge. Wow, Pegel, um, prophet, when they went away for six weeks, there was no electricity. So uh, when they came back, they were opening the door thinking it would be smelling bad. Because six weeks there was no electricity. They went to the fridge, they found the squirrel is frozen and nice. Yet there was no electricity. By the power of God creating, preserving for you. You see God speaking squirrels into existence and God creating a world where there is no way. This testimony in Deben, South Africa of a boy who had a shorter leg 
It's a testimony of creation because where did other material came from? If your leg is short, there is part of it is here. Listen, brother, if people from uh, who makes a Toyota car have spare parts in Toyota there, that ah, if anything happens ah, to that ah, one, to Abenzi, Toyota, ben, spare party. Be sitting, who who created you is after that if anything Una, happens, he ah, can ah, give you your new parts. Niga. Hallelujah. What happened in this testimony? These testimonies are igniting us to create. Also. Your faith in you this morning can create whatsoever things you desire. Are you ready this morning? Where did the skin come from? For Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale. All what you see in this picture was broken into the air. And the body responded. We've spoken many things into the air. There must be a recipient somewhere. God's eternal creative power. God has no weak parts and small parts. If you have God in you, you are strong. God, when two omnipotent meet. Something is going to happen. You are also omnipotent. The power of God is in you. The whole powers of heaven is right in your hands. Don't just sit in the church be barren. You must recognize. He says, all power is given unto me. It is yours to use. You speak the word and I will perform it. Yours is to speak. God will perform. Here is a scripture that we will take when we go to prayer. Isaiah 65 verse 24. It shall come to pass before they call I will answer. You thought you were going to be faster than God. You thought you were going to be faster than God. You thought I'm going to speak but God says I've answered. When you are seated hearing for prayer God says before they call I know you have many things to call about. Out. You have many situations to speak about. As you stand to your feet now, know that God has answered you. Before they shall call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear what are you saying as a son of God. You can create something. You give a touch of God in you. Creation is happening now. Things are happening. Your job is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. Your visitation is coming. God can create new hearts, new kidneys. He can remove that blood pressure. God can create a new version of you. God can create a new, new opportunities. God can create a heavenly atmosphere. God can create a special testimony. We are in a victory now. We are making testimonies. Those that believe it, they shall see it. God can give you rain. God can give you victory. The devil can create. But you, as a son of God, you are higher than the angel. Let us step into God's creative power. What is your desire this morning? God can create. We can speak things into existence. And other things out of existence. You have a high priest in heaven who is passed by your confession. If you say it's over, then it's over. If you say you are healed, then you are healed. God is waiting for you. Why cry, Moses? Speak the word. A way will open. In the Red Sea, a way will open. In your dark life, a way will open. God can turn on the light. God can create. Oscar's horses that are dead. Amen. The testimony can create those horses. Things that are dying in your life. When sister, the mother-in-law to the prophet created even electrical cables in the watch by speaking. Your electrical gadgets can respond to the power of the word. 
this morning we are speaking things into Amen. existence do you know before before I even touch you before you even speak God has answered you just having confidence in that scripture just laying your desires on that scripture I don't care what your problem is we can prove that power of God God can create a new heart no matter how stuck on you were as a child God can create a new heart my prayer today God creating me a clean heart let that Holy Spirit brood there are qualities in you that must come out there are good natures in you the Holy Ghost is brooding over this service healing is appearing he is brooding over you brother something is appearing let there be Magube. and there was let there be Magube. and there was Babako. before the doctors touched my wife let the hand of God dissolve that tumor Magube. and there was Babako. sister Heti I give your children Magube. and there was Babako. son stands still and there was let there be no curse and there was let your courtship come and there is let your job come your body is responding now bind every spirit now Amen. that darkness over you must vanish the miracle has started darkness move away God is creating a new something that you have never seen he says call upon me I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you didn't know do you believe today as we close our eyes I'm inviting God for a special miracle Amen. special miracle every service belongs to somebody maybe this service was yours you don't need to depend on me this service concentrate on him and say Lord you can create I have nothing in my pocket but God can create I have nothing in my fridge but God can create my heart is so empty but God can create my life is so empty but God can create I don't care what you are passing through I'm crushing principalities I'm crushing all powers of the devil something good is about to happen come as you are void without form almost giving up the spirit of God starts moving upon the congregation the spirit of God starts moving upon that situation God is moving upon your barrenness. He is moving upon your poverty. He is moving upon your situation. Every promise of God cannot be broken. You go out rejoicing today. He is making all things new. You are tired of your past. He is making all things new. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Empowered by your word. Empowered by your promise. And we have seen that surely you have done it before. Creative testimonies. Where your servants stood when there was nothing. And they spoke. And you performed it. And I stand, Father, under the blood of Jesus Christ. Not under the blood of bulls. Father, let there be victory in the church. I stand as your servant. Let those who have no children receive children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let those who have no hope receive hope. Who we'll see, Father, in the days of the prophet. You say, little fish, I give you back your life. When there were no intestines, something created them. The Holy Ghost is here again brooding. 
cooing, whispering hope and say, Father, we believe this is the very day of the manifestation of the sons of God. Those who know their God, they shall do exploits. Father, let there be creation. New cars to those who need cars. Houses and lands. But Father, the greatest things that we need, all these other things will pass away. All the ethnic creations of metals and flesh will pass away. But the greatest creation, when you take the vilest offender, when you take a hopeless brother, when you take a lady Maccabi, when you take a forsaken, lost in darkness, without God, without his love, and you reach down your hand and say, down from your glory, and you reach down to that sister and brother to lift them out of the pit, to lift them out of misery. That is the greatest testimony ever given. And this morning, Father, I feel pregnant with testimonies like God was pregnant with attributes. He spoke them. He spoke them and said, this shall be. He separated evil things away. He separated. Separate your children from dirty habits. Separate your children from demon powers. Set them free. Deliver them. May your Holy Ghost overshadow them. May your power touch them as I'm speaking the word. Let there be a creation of new verses. Let there be a creation of new body parts as I'm speaking the word. Let God thunder forth with these mighty works. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. It shall come to pass in the last days. I'll pour my spirit. We don't fear the devil. We don't fear satanists. We stand speaking the word. Heavenly Father, those who are struggling with the habits, those who are struggling with family spirits, those who are in darkness, those who are hopeless, those who are almost giving up, hope is coming. The dove on the wings of the snow white dove, God is bringing his answer. I challenge all your children, Father, to catch it now, to believe it now, and receive it now. Let no one miss it. Let them open their hearts and take opportunity to receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I put every spirit under my feet and I come against all principalities, all rulers of darkness. I say, Satan, release the children of God now. You forces of darkness, the light has come. The light is shining. The light has come. Let there be, let there be light, let there be joy, let there be gifts of the Spirit, let there be order in the church, let there be holiness in the church. Create a thirst in your children, create a desire to worship you, create Father, a heart that loves you, a heart that goes after the depths, create a hunger in the hearts of your children. Father, as your son. I'm standing speaking. They shall not die. They shall live to proclaim the word of God. If someone was almost committing suicide, here is hope for you, my sister. Don't take your life. Jesus Christ is alive. That suicide spirit, I bind it. In the mighty name of Jesus, there is no suicide. Give yourself to Jesus. Your life will be changed. Heavenly Father, move Holy Spirit, move and brood upon your children. They have been waiting for their answers. May you move and brood upon their lives. May you move and brood upon their finances, upon their business, upon their marriages until something beautiful begins to appear. The authority that you gave us that nothing shall by any means harm us. We use it now. You said we shall bind and these spirits. We use it now. You said we shall lay hands on the sick. We use it now. We shall speak to this mountain. That your mountain be thou removed. Your children are facing their mountains this morning. Different mountains. Different sizes. Different conditions. But I feel a shaking. 
mountains are moving this morning. If the weakest of Christians is praying, this mountain shall be removed. Father, when your spirit starts moving in the congregation, bringing out those gifts that were hiding in the church, when your spirit starts moving in the congregation, bring love, bring joy, bring long suffering, bring peace, bring happiness. What shall we say to this thing? I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. Father, we can meet the Colorado storms and say in a few minutes, let there be sunshine. In a few minutes, let there be, let the darkness disappear. Let the storms disappear. Let the stormy clouds disappear. Some were facing summons from the court messengers and they didn't know out of nothingness what to do but father their faith is speaking i know the master of the rains i know he can calm the storms father we saw the testimonies of the field that was almost dry but the preaching of the gospel brought it back to greatness again those who were dying spiritually Talitakumi, arise and praise your God again. Father, this morning, may things happen at the altar. May things happen at the benches. May your power visit them. May your mighty power fill them with the Holy Ghost. They were in an upper chamber. And all of a sudden, there was a rushing mighty wind. May the dry Christians, dry bones, dry marriages, dry finances, dry teenagers, dry youth. Hear the word of the Lord. Repent today. Make your life right. Don't wait for tomorrow. Repent, young girls. Repent, young boys. Give your life to Jesus. Let him take control. We thank you, Father. As I shall lay hands on the few, May you take over, Lord. May creative miracles, creative realms of operation, creation of jobs in the church, creation of health to those who are feeble, those who are weak. Let them say I'm strong. For I'm writing on your promise which says, before we even ask, you have answered while we are still speaking. You have heard while Peter had back. You have performed me. I invite you this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you.